Happening tonight, the city of Pacific Grove looking to beef up its short-term rental ordinance. We get details from Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad. She's live in Monterey with more on the potential impact. Caitlin? Dan, the city of Pacific Grove will likely pass a new ordinance tonight that will implement a lottery designed to limit the density of short-term rentals. They are everywhere. Signs that say keep neighborhoods for neighbors, stop SDRs. Some blo blocks have almost the whole side of a street that are short term rentals. So if they all get rented out, uh, goodness only knows what you know, ends up happening to your neighborhood. Strong opinions exist on both sides of the debate and proponents of short term rentals say the newest add on to the ordinance is a bad idea. It's a solution in search of a problem, I think, unfortunately. Pacific Grove has already voted to limit the density of STRs to 15% per block. To decide who gets to have one and who does not, the city wants to use a lottery. There are so few complaints, and the lottery does not necessarily address the specific complaints. The lottery will likely take out some properties where there are no complaints. According to city data, there are 289 homes being rented out on a short-term basis, generating $1.4 million in taxes. The lottery would affect 60 of those homes and could cut as much as $350,000 from the budget. I think we actually have a very good ordinance now. And uh, at this point, the uh, benefit to the city from revenue, which is really essential to us, uh, versus the concern for the neighbors, I think, is really coming into balance. If passed, this, the changes will go into effect in April when everyone needs to renew their short-term rental licenses with the city. Reporting live in Monterey, Caitlin Conrad, KSBW Action News 8. Thank you, Caitlin.